uh, creative services manager for news and current affairs promotions and basically that means my team promote the news, today show, 60 minutes, the current affair, morning. So basically we keep uh, looking for stories to tell about those programs, whether it be on television, through our normal traditional sense of broadcasting, through those commercials and promos, or whether it be on social media through uh, webisodes or behind the scenes videos or even um, just on Twitter. Social media has become a game changer for news and current affairs, for all programming really. But what social media is doing is giving people a voice to connect with brands or personalities. You know, people can ask Peter Overton a question about the news or about events being covered through Twitter and directly communicate with them. I think social media is all about people having a voice. Um, and some of the things we read on Facebook or Twitter actually influence the decisions we make as broadcasters because if people are getting up in arms about something, we, we realise well, that may trigger the fact that this is a story. In some stories, if there has been a big story, we'll use reaction from Facebook and Twitter to as a, as a part of a story telling people how, how the public's reacting. It's, it, it's never been like this in the history of television. Two stories we're promoting. We've got the autistic kids who are able to speak for the first time, um, which you know I've cut together just a 10-second promo, which um, hasn't got all its nine logos on at the moment. The guys over there do that, but I'll cut it. Uh, I'll get it voiced. We'll put together a promo that hopefully everyone's happy with, and then um, we'll get it mixed and get it on air. Um, event TV and news are the two big things that draw an audience each night, and the reason for that is because as people are watching the news, as they're watching an event, uh, whether it be The Voice or whatever it might be, they're interacting with people on social media. So they're talking on Facebook about how, you know, oh, I can't believe the judge made that decision or this news event, whatever it might be. And, and they're doing that on Twitter and Facebook and hearing their voice but taking part in a greater conversation. But yes, it is resource intensive and it can't happen every day. Um, so. It's, it's a balance, I guess, of trying to find out what you can give to the online community as well as doing the main job here of getting a broadcast to air each night.